Hello everyone, welcome to Night Games. I'm Tay, with me today I have... Tay Super B. And Leon Scorpius. That's right, we're back for another episode of Dream Daddy. The dating dating sim game. Daddy dating sim... Did I say that right? I don't know. Daddy dating sim game? Yeah, something like that. Anyways, we have one more date to go on with Robert before we make our final decision. Do, 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 do. So, here we go. Leon's in control, as always, for this game. And... <laughs> I just want to double check. The, the, so, we do have two hearts here with Craig. Yep. So, we've done two dates with Craig. Oops, how do I go back? Uh, close the... Yeah. Close out first. And then hit back, where it says yep. back. Ah. All right, and we've gone on two dates with Matt. That's right, the second one ended with like his piano solo and it was very yes. like heartwarming and like bitter and... Yes. And then Robert, we've only gone on one date and that's uh, to destroy property. <laughs> yeah. That, oh, well that was a fun yes. date though. It was a good, it was a fun date. Uh, pushed, pushed Joe out of his comfort zone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you need to be pushed out of your comfort zone. Trying something new. Uh-huh. Dad tip eight, drink a full glass of water in the morning and be kind to something. I had a lot of fun with Robert the last time we hung out, but I'm uh -huh. beginning to wonder if he's dodging me. I've tried messaging him a few times, and Dad book says he hasn't even read them. Haven't even seen him come out of his house, actually. Yeah. I decide to send him one last message. Figure at this, he'll produce the same result. Result. Hey man, don't know where you've been, but we should grab a drink soon. I uh -huh. walk away from my computer because at this point, I know he's not messaging me back anytime soon. <laughs> yep. I linger in the kitchen. I'm all caught up on work. The house is relatively clean. Maybe I should do something nice for Amanda. You ah, should. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'll bake her her favorite pie. Well, let's um, do is that. Is it just nachos? Is right. it nachos in a pie? <laughs> in a pie tin? That sounds delicious, actually. Mm -hmm. I root through the pantry and pull out all the ingredients. This is an old family recipe that I used to make with my grandmother when I was a kid. I lost the actual recipe card a long time ago, but I think I'll be able to remember how to bake it. Mm. I start oh, mixing yeah. well. the ingredients together for the crust until I get a nice dough. I throw some cherries into the saucepan to make the filling. Normally, I don't like to multitask in the kitchen, but this cherry pie is a piece of cake. Pie. Pie? It's a piece of pie. It is a piece uh -huh. of pie. Yes. I'm, I'm making a pie. <laughs> yes. Joe, you were alone in the room. Why do you keep talking like that? <laughs> oh man, I can never remember what temperature you're supposed to set the oven at. I'm pretty sure it's 375, but I could be wrong. Mm. Joe's the type of person to, to like talk to himself. Yeah. yeah. It's all internal monologue. Yeah, it's all internal. say Joe. Yes. Yeah, no, I know. Who am I kidding? I'm never wrong when it comes to the pie. My special twist on my grandma's it's recipe- It's undercooking it. Not yet. <laughs> includes a secret ingredient that not even a man knows about. It makes the cherries extra flavorful. Salmonella. God, why can't I remember it's what the secret ingredient is? It's Kool-Aid. It's always Kool-Aid. Mm. Ooh, Ooh, almond extract. Almond extract. It's always almond extract. Oh, it's almond extract, duh. Oops. Ah, I no. poured uh, too much into it, way too much. I'm sure nope. it's fine. No, nope, it's never nope. fine. Too much is way too much. Baking is an oh. art, and some of the most beautiful art is made from mistakes. I finally get the pie in the oven. How long am I supposed to leave it in there? 15 minutes? Nah, I'll just wing it. Oh, this oh, pie is no. so excited. Oh. Kid loves a good pie. Yeah, and unfortunately, you're going to give her a shit pie. I have a seat at the kitchen table and Cowboy. do word jumbles oh. until Amanda comes home. I can hear the door slam no. open. Yo, Pops, what smells like pie in here? It's pie, sweetie. Yeah. Amanda darts over the uh, oven is and it looks supposed inside. to be smoking? <laughs> uh, yes. Hey, it's not done. Be patient. What's your angle here? What? Pies are, no, are an objective-based confection. What are you trying to get out of me? Oh. Hmm. I've, I've been, been leading a double, double life. life. Amanda, I have terrible news for you. I actually, I'm actually a pro skateboarder, an aspiring astronaut, and bank robber. The lifestyle is calling me back, and I must go. One last job. You know how it is. The pie was the only way I knew how to tell you. Well, I appreciated the years we spent together, but a trade-up is a trade-up. 
Oh. <laughs> Remember me when you're kicking your feet up in <laughs> Ibiza. Mm. Yeah. Thanks for all the pie. We share a cordial handshake. <laughs> I wait a few more minutes before taking the pie out of the oven. I set it on the rack to cool and guard it so Amanda doesn't dig into it before it's ready. Mm-hmm. Huh. What? Does it look kind of weird to you? Oh, that's just uh, me taking artistic license on what cherry pie means to me emotionally. <laughs> I'm just saying this because, you know, it seems like you might have baked this pie incorrectly. And you're currently, right now, trying to pass it off as a good thing. It's art, sweetie. Was it art when you accidentally baked a whole uncracked egg into the center of my 12th birthday cake? Well, it's... Was it art when you tried to make brownies and accidentally created chlorine gas? Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Was it art when you... Just eat the pie, Panda. <laughs> <laughs> I cut a few slices and we sit down to eat. The cherry filling oozes out of the sides and the buttery crust glistens. I watch as Amanda takes a bite. Oh. What's wrong? Is it not good? Amanda winces and fans her mouth. No, no, I just... Burn the heck out of the roof of my mouth. This pie is amazing. Sorry for doubting you. <laughs> I breathe a sigh of relief <laughs> and take a bite. She's right. The pie is pretty incredible, as it always is. I'm really proud of you for making a pie without burning the new house down. I got a few dad tricks up my dad's sleeve. Maybe fathers aren't as bumbling and stupid as the media make us out to be. Maybe we as a society should have a little more respect for fathers as a whole. Dad, your sleeve is on fire. I run to the sink and put myself out. Pride will be my undoing. How? How did that happen? He probably was leaning on the stove. Still. The stove wasn't on. It was the oven. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Amanda and I clean up the kitchen and play a little more living room hoops before she retreats to her room to do homework. I go back to my word jumbles. Hey, this one spells cat. <laughs> uh-huh. The rest of the evening trickles by. We eat dinner. I help Amanda with one of her scholarship applications. We both start getting ready for bed. Wait, nice. she has to still do scholarship applications? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. She just got accepted, so. Yeah. And it's an expensive school. Yep. I decide to check on dad, but one last time before I climb into bed. Still nothing from Robert. Huh. Hope he's okay. I turn out the lights and lie down. Maybe we don't get a second date with Robert. Oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, hey, Joe, I'm outside. Oh, Come outside. What is it? <laughs> I was just on the verge of falling asleep. I climb out of bed and try to identify the source of the dinghy. My computer screen illuminates the dark room. Oh, uh, <laughs> good Robert, lord. How did Robert stand? I don't remember. I, I, I don't I'll know. It. It's I'll dark and he's, mysterious. He's, yeah. knife, he's knife dad, so he I gets to the point. I walk over ready to turn it off when I notice what's happening on screen. Oh, Don't make me no. honk. I will honk. Get out of here. I look out my window and sure enough, there's Robert leaning up against his pickup truck in my driveway. <laughs> I open my door to try to figure out what's going on. Hey. Hey? Morning. I was kind of sleepy. <laughs> That's not fun. Come, hang out. I would argue that sleeping is very fun, but I don't have to be anywhere in the morning. Might what as well is, live a What little. does Joe do again? He's just living off inheritance. It's fine. Okay. He says he's caught up on work, so he must work from home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he does work from home. I think we established that. Sure. Yeah. Cool. You plan on going all out like that? Look I down and realize that I am, in fact, not wearing pants. <laughs> Yep. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, one second. Uh, yeah? <laughs> I run inside and throw out my going out pants, shoes, and jacket. I grab my keys you, and you throw them out or did you throw them on? Oh, throw them out. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Ready. Hop in. Oh, I jump into the passenger God. seat of his old red pickup truck. I have to move a few empty cigarette packets and a gas station receipts out of the way before I can sit. Robert silently starts the car, and we drive out of the cold sack. Oh my god. You like Tom Waits? Oh, man. Um, Hoist that rag, baby. <laughs> I assume uh, that's a Tom Waits uh, line or something. 
I mean, me personally, I'd be like, Tom who? Yeah. Yeah. I know I, the name sounds familiar, but I don't know. No, yeah. Wait, Wait who's to... Uh... Before I can answer, Robert turns up the radio. Yep, that's Tom Waits, all right. He lights a cigarette and cracks the windows. We drive together. And I guess it should be scratch your voice then. Yep. So, where are we going? Robert doesn't respond. Robert? Oh, I heard you. He still didn't, doesn't answer my question. I look out the window and notice that he's taking us to the highway. I twiddle my thumbs. Well, whatever I've gotten myself into, it looks like I'm in for, for the night. Well, we're dead. Yeah, yeah. My <laughs> she's taking us out to the woods to murder we're us. We're gonna get murdered. Was there a shovel in the back of his pickup truck? Like, I settle into my seat and watch the street lights pass by. I glance over to Robot. 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 <laughs> yes. To Robert. Wait a second. This How would be a dating sim I would like. definitely like to play. How much have you been drinking? <laughs> he looks tired, and he always does, but there's something a bit more there that I just can't place. Mm. Oh, man. He Remember, he, he likes... doesn't like small talk. Yeah, but, I mean, he does like us caring about him. Yeah, yeah and he has, he has been, like, MIA for a while. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I would go, are you okay? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll agree with that. Dot, 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 dot. Just peachy. That's okay, no saying. eggplant. Stop but... looking so nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm <laughs> a little nervous. <laughs> Just hang on, we're almost there. Almost where? I have no idea where we are. I think we're moving at a slight, slight incline, but I'm not so sure. It's taking us into the mountains. We eventually come up to a stop. Below. Robert gets out of the car and I sit for a second. Unsure if he wants me to get out too. What are you waiting for? I hastily exit the car. Robert sits on the bed of his truck and pats the space next to him. Are we are we just stargazing? stargazing. Oh, okay. Stargazing. I sit down and take in the view. We're on a hill overlooking the city skyline against the bay. Are we at makeout point? The cool night air yes, rustles some trees near the lights. <laughs> Blink in the distance. Off to the side, I can see an entrance to a dense forest. Man, it's all so gorgeous. This is where I come to masturbate. <laughs> yes! What? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What's wrong with you? <laughs> this spot where I come to think. It's nice. Oh. You can see the whole city from up here. Really gives you some perspective. Robert reaches behind him and pulls something out from under his jacket. It glints in the moonlight, and I suddenly realize what it is. It's a knife! Oh, shit! It's a knife! Oh! Please don't stab me. Robert reaches into his pocket and pulls out a small piece of wood. Please don't stab me with that either. We really don't trust Robert. We don't! We shouldn't! Robert takes the knife to the piece of wood and starts carving at it. That's what I thought he was going to do. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, oh. Obviously. Once the wood came out. Yeah, I yeah. breathe a very audible <laughs> wood. <laughs> which wood came out? Yeah. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. Robert looks at me sideways. Did you think I was going to stab you just now? What? No. <laughs> hate to break it to you, but I did, in fact, bring you out here to harvest your organs. <laughs> oh. Play along. Uh, play along. Yeah. Something Joe would do. Yeah, well, yeah, you think you caught me in your trap, but I knew for years. I've been putting the most vile junk food in my body in preparation for this day. <laughs> Come at me, friend, and reap what you will. Two steps ahead of you, all times. That's how I operate. <laughs> there we go. Never yeah. Get past you, huh? That's a lot of eggplants. Yes, it was. Well, we are at masturbate point, so. <clears throat> yes, we are. Robert reaches into his pocket and pulls out a folding knife that he opens hand to me. I'm gonna warn you, the last guy I had a knife fight with lost three fingers because he didn't know the eight basic rules of knife fighting. You're familiar, correct? I honestly can't tell when you're kidding. I'm so many levels of irony deep that I've forgotten what humor is. <laughs> <laughs> See, if it was just that, I would like him a lot more. But he is obviously also just very horrible. He and I laugh. He is a garbage fire of a person. <laughs> Have you ever whittled before? Considering I'm not a grandpa, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, I just thought you would have a block of wood shipped to you along with your first social security check. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I'll have you know that whittling is a time-honored tradition enjoyed by both youth and old alike. That you're dismissing before you've ever tried, even tried it speaks volumes about your character. 
However, because I've gotten to know you for some time and have come to think of us as friends, I'm willing to attribute it to ignorance instead of malice. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, go get that stick. <laughs> <laughs> Emotions, a good-looking stick on the ground, perfect for potential whittling. I pick it up. The most important thing to remember from while whittling is cut with the grain, not against it. Cut against the grain, the wood is going to splinter. Isn't the most important thing safety? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Getting hurt comes with the territory. Look at my damn hands. I look at his damn hands. <laughs> They're calloused and covered with little white scars. They're very nice hands. You can't make me. You can't make a stick omelet without breaking a few hand eggs. God damn it! Was that? Oh, okay. I was like, was that the end of our day? Oh, oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> so go with, against with the grain. That's which way uh, is yeah. the grain? Oh, so go it? against. Yeah. So just do it against. Yeah. There you go. Come on. You got it. You got this. Come on, Leon. Are we're, you making a toothpick? We're making a shank. <laughs> we're, no, we're case. making a toothpick. Come on, whittle faster. Ah! <laughs> uh, I don't know what else. To I do think here. you can rotate the knife a bit. Oh, rotate the wood. Ah! Oh, oh, there, there we go. go. We made a pencil. Okay, it's a toothpick. <laughs> oh no, because it didn't have the both tip off. <laughs> no, oh yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's a good start. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! It's a knitting needle! <laughs> <laughs> but only one? You made a useless knitting needle. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh man. Yes! Uh, a tongue depressor! <laughs> oh yeah, that's totally a tongue depressor. I think you gotta turn a little more. Turn the wood more. You're not handling your wood properly. <laughs> I'm on. sorry. Oh, there was a little chunk. We are so bad at this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Robert. I'm so there, there we, we go. go. Tell me about this one. We said it was a tongue to plus right? Yeah, we did. We did. I should put that in my first aid kit. Never know when you might need one. And it's not useless. This yeah, time. It's yeah. Not useless. Oh, we got. We're, we're still whittling. Oh, did I break? It? Yes. No, that's now that's a toothpick. What's the story here? Awesome. <laughs> 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 make me look tougher. What yeah. Is, what it's either yeah. a toothpick or something to make me look tougher. It's working. I think you could take me in a fight, probably. <laughs> a tough, tough guy, guy accessory. <laughs> Although Super B should probably be giving us these answers. I wonder what happens if I rotate it first. <laughs> You're whittling it down to nothing. Oh, no. What uh, is this? Looks like a wooden What's bullet this? to kill a vampire with. Ah! Just saying. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what I just made. <laughs> Butt plug. And that's just fine. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there's some whittling. whittling progress. It did nice. look like a chicken nugget. It did. it did. Oh, we get, keep going. This episode is going to be six hours of us just oh, whittling. whittling. Oh, man, we're making the worst what? stuff. That's a chicken no, nugget. Yeah, that's a chicken nugget. <laughs> nice warm. What is that supposed to be? Louisiana. Oh. Louisiana! That's Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, that, that does look like Louisiana. Good old Louisiana. Beautiful place. Got stabbed there once, you know? Or was it Kentucky? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. What is the? I feel like I'm doing really poorly. I think that's what you're supposed to be doing. I think this is it. It's like a chopstick, yeah. but... Interesting, what do you got here? <laughs> <laughs> ah, chopstick ambidextrous. Yes. It's a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I think our whittling skills are amazing. Oh, this is a big oh, oh yeah. Wood. Yeah, yeah. Rotate. Yeah. Are we making a swan? A duck? I think we are. I think we're making a duck. Try to go down lower. 
There you go. There, there we, we go. go. Keep this up, you'll be like whittling pro in no time. A new um, friend. No. It's not a duck. It's a duck. Maybe next you can give some wooden bread crust to feed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a cool duck. <laughs> It's a cool duck. It is. Oh, we're becoming whittling pros. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a, Whoa. it's a pony. We we really become. <laughs> what, I'm surprised we found such good wood or out there. Sheep? Big old dog, the spirit Sir of the Mustang. Mustang. Sir Horsington the Brave. Yeah. Sir, Sir Horsington, Horsington the Brave. Brave. Brave and noble name for a brave and noble creature. Yes! Wow. I knew it was gonna be for her. So good. That is good. Yes. We, we've come good a job, long way. Joe. Yes. And look, if it wasn't for Robert, we wouldn't have a gift for her. Robert and I sit in silence for a while, carving our pieces of wood. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of this. It's actually kind of relaxing. <laughs> I glance over to see what Robert's working on. He's carving a smaller wooden knife. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> While I'm distracted, the knife slices into my thumb. Blood gushes all over my little wooden carving. Oh. Um, Robert is lost in carving and doesn't notice me bleeding everywhere. Uh, Robert still doesn't notice. Robert, I'm dying. I'm, ble I'm bleeding to death. <laughs> the guy looks over. He reaches in the jacket again. Jesus, how much stuff does this guy keep in there? He pulls out a red bandana and wraps it around my thumb. Hold tight. He hops off the truck and I hear him rummaging around his car. He comes back a moment later with a wall stock first aid kit. Cool. And our tongue depressor. Yeah. yeah. That's where it goes. <laughs> right? I feel like this is where like the, the romantic song comes on the radio. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because you slowly repand yeah. on your thumb and they stare longingly into each other's eyes. And uh -huh. just as about to kiss, the cop shows up and is like, move along. Move along. <laughs> Save that for the third date. <laughs> The blood wiped off my hands, swipes a bit of antiseptic in the cut. With surprising gentleness, he places a bit of gauze around the wound and wraps it all up. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. He hands me what's left of the tube of antiseptic. Make sure to keep that cut clean. It's oddly touching and... Responsible? A little sexy. But mm -hmm. I guess I'm a real whittler now. That you are. Be careful, though. They're attracted to the smell of blood. Wait, what? What's attracted to the smell of blood? Cryptids. Uh, <laughs> Tons of them out here, you know? Cryptids? Uh, like Mothman and stuff? Yeah. Mothman is bullshit. But yeah, this town's a hotbed for cryptozoological occurrences. You're joking. <laughs> oh, how I wish I were. I'm a skeptic myself, or at least I thought it was. There are things in these woods that we can't possibly comprehend. I think about my entire time in the city. Aside from the occasional stray coyote, I don't think it's too bad. You ever hear of the Dover Ghost? Ooh. Ghost hunting. Ooh. Are they yes. possessed inside of Joseph's kids? <laughs> Probably. I don't think so. Well, let me tell you a story. I was out in the woods here on a weekend camping trip with Betsy. You don't know Betsy, but she's a big pup. Pitbull, real intimidating. I feel safe around her. First night goes without an incident. I get some solitude, Betsy gets to pee wherever she wants, all good stuff. Mm -hmm, Second day, mm -hmm. I get the idea into my head that I can hike deeper into the wood, probably against my better judgment. But hey, we're just having a fun camping trip, right? So me and Bessie start march marching in the morning. It's a little late and we set up camp, but it's different this night. Real quiet. Can't hear the birds, the crickets, squirrels, nothing. Dead silent. Then it happens. I either hear the most unholy growl I've ever heard in my life, right outside my tent. Me and Betsy, we go to investigate, we look around the clearing, nobody's What's there. What's an unholy growl? It's like... Like a devilish <laughs> one. It, I don't know. It sounds like... Six, 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 it's just 666 six, six repeated mm. all over. Six, 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 six. I, I mean, know. that's the number of the beast. The beast it's like... It's, I don't think... Yeah. It's like the predator. Or... Um, I have... No. Yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know. But it's unholy. But there's this feeling, not sure if I can quite describe it. I know someone, something, is watching us. Betsy, though, she's scared. Never seen it like that. And when she's scared, I know that I should be too. And I see it in the distance. A man, but something that didn't, something that didn't know what a man was supposed to look like made it. It just looked wrong. Big, arms too long for its body, black eyes. Just stood there and stared at me. Then it disappeared. 
I hear one yelp from Betsy and I turn around to check on her, but she's gone. Into thin air. Betsy, no! I didn't sleep at all that yeah. in my tent that night. I don't think I've ever slept right since. Oh, man. Mm, that's that's terrible. terrible. Yeah. Wow, Robert. I'm so sorry. They say that if you listen closely on quiet nights, nights just like tonight, you can hear the howl of the Dover ghost. A howl resonates through the woods. It doesn't sound like a regular hour. It's so guttural, so far away. Guttural. Something guttural. Guttural. <laughs> oh, <laughs> something about it makes my skin crawl. It's unholy, I tell mm -hmm. you. It is. Mm -hmm. it's unholy growl. Okay, Robert. Real funny. I turn to look at Robert. He's white as a sheet. You're messing with me, right? I was messing with you, but until literally just now, <laughs> totally made that camping story up. <laughs> I strain my eyes to scan the forest line, <laughs> trying to see where the howl originated from. Off in the distance, I see something. It's so far away, I barely make out its shape. It looks human, but it's dragging something. Ah, uh, do you see that? We should go. <laughs> like, towards it, right? I don't know. Robert and I slowly back away and get in the truck. He turns on the headlights, and we make a slow crawl away back onto the road. I'm too scared to look back. What was that? Dover Ghost, I guess. I chuckle nervously. This time he doesn't seem like he's messing with me. <laughs> or maybe someone illegally dumping garbage on a wildlife preserve. Yeah, that's the story we'll tell <laughs> on ourselves. <laughs> <Yeah. Joseph. laughs> yep. Gotta be Joseph. Probably. We sit in silence for a little longer. The a fear of whatever was slowly subsiding as slowly as we whatever. Get, get closer, right. to, get the closer to the city. Thanks yeah. for coming out. This was fun. Was it? I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. I've just been in a way lately. I had to get out of the house. I had to be around somebody. You do an okay man. Robert thinks for a second and lights another cigarette. <sighs> been doing a lot of thinking. <laughs> Takes a long drag. <laughs> so I get older, I feel more and more that I'm just drowning in the sea of regret. I was so busy chasing after these things that I thought would make me happy that I didn't think about anyone else. All I cared about was myself. I didn't even think. Robert stops. I wait for him to finish his thought, but he just stares at the road. Maybe I'm just built like this. Or maybe I do it to myself. Maybe it's my own choice that I'm unhappy as I am. He's unhappy? You know what would make you feel better? Dad to think sex. Of something to say. I remember all the times in my life. When I've been sad, and there's a great many of them, but there was always a light at the end of the tunnel, mm -hmm. something I held on to that kept me going. But there's something so resigned about the way Robert's talking. <laughs> oh. Uh, Not um, the last one. Uh, no. I, mm. Yeah. No, I feel like... I'm, I'm glad he does like honesty, and he does like us being genuine. Yeah. So, I'm glad you told me, but he also likes us being shitheads, so... I would I would say I'm either- I'm glad you told me, or maybe we deserve to be eaten by the Dover Ghost. I, I'm pretty sure it's I'm glad you told yeah. me. Yeah. I'm glad you told me. Must have taken a lot f for you to want to tell somebody like this. You're a mysterious guy, Robert. You don't have to be. Do you ever... <sighs> wish you were a better father? I think about it for a second. All the time. You can read all about parenting books you want, but nothing will ever prepare you for raising a child. That's so much stuff I regret or wish that I could have done better. But I don't have the answers. I don't know if anyone does. Does Robert even have a kid? Maybe he's about uh, to talk yeah. about him. It's funny. I, was, I look at you and your relationship with your daughter and it seems perfect. It isn't. At least you're there for her. I stare out the window at a blur of passing trees. I just hope I'm better father to my kid than my dad was to me. What did your dad do? It's more about what he didn't do. He was quiet, stoic. I don't think he ever once told me that he loved me. He cared more about his work than he ever did about me or my mom. You hate him? No, I used to, but after I became a parent, I kind of just feel bad for him. He missed out on my whole childhood. And I think about all the happy moments in my life there with Amanda and Alex, and he just wasn't there. Who's Alex? 
Alex was the wife. I think. Oh, I right, right, right. Uh, it hurt like hell when I had to leave him to die in the <laughs> Belarusian <laughs> prison. Belarusian? What? Russian, yeah. I turn and smile at him. No, he's retired in Florida with my mom. We go there every Christmas. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> there you go! <laughs> Get them eggplants! We both break out into laughter. He pats me on the shoulder. We drive the rest of the way in silence, listening to the radio and watching the bright lights of the city grow bigger. <laughs> okay, good. We made the right choice. Yeah. Look, he, was, look how happy this guy is. Yeah. yeah. We just spent a couple hours with old... Joe Pipopoulos. Now he's just a he, now he's just sort of a gently gently smoldering trash or dumpster fire, like not a full blown raging dumpster fire. I think we I think we've now he's just sort of simmering dumpster fire. Craig like water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, narrator. Robert dry, drops me off at my place. And I'm about to close the passenger door. I realize I still have Robert's pocket knife in my jacket. I pull it out and offer it back to him. You hold on to that. Never know when you might need it. You're gonna need to shank Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Night, Robert. Have a safe drive home. He smirks, then pulls away. Don't we all live in the same cul-de-sac? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Does he really have? He's just like driving like, like across, across the, street. the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he immediately pulls yes. into his driveway, which is one over from mine. Good. He gets out and waves. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. Yes. I tiptoe in the house, careful not to wake Amanda up. She's already awake though. Yeah. Yes. Whoa, where did you come from? I look around and spot Amanda coming out of the kitchen with a glass of water. And some pie. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were sleeping. Oh, uh, Robert woke me to go cryptid hunting. You know the Mothman is bullshit, right? <laughs> Amanda, like, you know what? It's fine. I think about the conversation I have with Robert in the car as Amanda starts walking towards her room. Hey, Amanda. She stops. I love you. It's weird when you say it outright and sincerely like that, but I love you too. Is he gonna give her the little pony dog thing? <laughs> Night! It's covered in blood, he's gotta watch it. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I chuckled to myself and finally decided to go to bed. <laughs> there we go! All right, I hate Danger. Robert. Yeah, I hate Thanks. him a little less, but um, yeah, we should have known. We should have known more about Tom Waits. Just saying. Rank A. So the highest is like S or something, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So the paranoia. Is that what that's that probably is? From yeah. the stabbing. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Worthwhile hobby. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm surprised we actually scored that high on and Tom crime. Waits. I know, but crime. We weren't actually doing anything illegal. Uh, the Belarusian prison breakout. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Well, there we go. I wonder if whittling would have been better if I was faster. Yeah. All right. Well, All let's, right. let's go ahead and call it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time and see who we decide to go on our final date with. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> so long. Bye. 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 Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more from us, click on one of the thumbnails. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up to date with our latest shenanigans. Be sure to click the bell for notifications, and check out the description below for a link to our Patreon page. See you next time!